Alrighty, everyone, here we go, jumping into part three of the Crown Tundra DLC on Pokemon Sword. And there goes good old adoptive dad over there, taking us under his wing, being kind of sketch. Why does it sound like he's running on concrete? Because if that's ice, pretty sure he wouldn't be running like that. Sounds like he's running on concrete, so... But it sounds like I'm... Okay, here's my problem with this DLC so far, and I don't know if you guys have picked up on it yet or not. If you remember back in the Isle of Armor DLC, my Pokemon could follow me, so where the hell is that option now? I don't like that they keep taking that away. Like, there's no reason to just not have that. We saw that it worked in the Isle of Armor, so now I don't know why all of a sudden we do not have it. So, big gripe right there, because I have some buddies that want to come out and play. Um... But that gripe aside, so far so good. I do really like the Dynamax adventure. I like the... Can I just have a moment without having a cutscene? Freezington. I love the music. I know how I just went from tirade rant to peaceful, serene, calm feelings. Hello, hello. What are we here? Another visitor? I am the mayor of this fair town of Freezington, I must say. It's a surprise to have visitors arriving in our out-of-the-way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvests as well? Of course. Ah, never mind. It hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of the region. Which is a bit of a shame, really. People come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. But since you've made the journey, I must offer you this Freezington specialty as a memento. Uh, boat neck sweatshirt. It's a shirt emblazoned with the likeness of the King of Bountiful Harvests. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite as well as we'd hoped. We've got a fair number left over. The illustration is based on extremely ancient accounts of the King's appearance. Hence the unusually sized head. But we thought it might make the design a touch more hip, as they say. If you'd like to see what the king really looked like, I suggest you take a look at the statue by the fields in the center of our village. By the way, while you're here in the Crown Tantra, feel free to let your lead Pokemon... Oh. Guys. Take back everything that I said. This is a fine DLC. Out of its ball and take it for a stroll. Farewell now then. Just forget that whole thing ever happened. Oi! Oi! Man, I'm trying to have a peaceful moment, dude. You set up a base camp over here, Dylan. <laughs> Wait, he hit his head in the last episode, and he has a hard hat on. I feel like he's a bit dramatic, like that guy that was just talking about having no... Hey, what's up? It's so good to... S Sfeel! What are you doing out here? Orb orb. <laughs> okay. Our village may not be the liveliest place, but do have a relaxing stay and enjoy the sights. I suppose there's not much to see besides that old statue, but enjoy the one sight anyway. I will. I will enjoy literally everything here, and I will take your balls that are just laying around. I like how I'm going to have to fight my way past these Obama snow just to get that item. Nope, you don't see anything. You see nothing. He grabbed me. He, he grabbed me. Countered a wild Obama snow. Obama snow. Snow warning. Making it snow on me in an already snow... Oh, hail. Sorry. Much worse. Um, well, Spirit Shackle. Let's see if this is a one-hit KO like it was on the poor Amara. Amora. Well, we tried. And it just wants to get a little health back. How sad. And I'm going to hit it with a sucker punch. Because I know it's going to try and punch us in the face. So let's punch it first. There we go. I have all these Pokemon in my party that I really don't want there. Except for, spoiler alert, the Suicune from last episode. If you're just joining in now and you didn't watch part two, then I can't help that you just got spoiled that we caught a badass Suicune. On our, on our first playthrough of a Dynamax adventure. I do encourage you to go and watch that. 
because it was kind of fun playing by myself with a very, very special greedent. He kept trying to swords dance and set up for an attack that did nothing. Um, I'll keep Suicune for now. Oh, I really want to see it. Actually, I forgot that I could make it walk around. So let's see that happen. Oh, man. What a big boy. Oh, I just... Can you not ruin my moment? I'm trying to do something. I know. I know. All right. Pressure. I get it. We're going to run. I just want to see Suicune before I put it in the box. I was going to leave it on the team, and I might for a little bit. No harm in that. Oh, man. I wish I could write it. I know that sounds terrible, but... I don't know what that I don't know what he said, but I'm pretty sure it was something along the lines of you're never writing me. I'll talk to this old man. All our youngins have gone off to live in the big city. It's tough for us old folks getting by with only our Pokemon. That's sad. I don't want to feel things right now. Uh was any it's cold outside, dearie. Why not stay a while and get warmed up? I will. Why do you have a Cosmog? Oh, that's Fwoofy. I found it shivering outside the village and just had to bring it home. You know, I think it was... Sh I clicked. I don't know what it said, but I thought she was about to give it to us. Fwoofy, that other strange Pokemon, began appearing in the tundra. I've never seen a Pokemon like Fwoofy before. Maybe it'd be best to have a proper trainer take care of it. If only I could find a dependable one. I'm right here. I'm right here. Give me the Cosmog. Oh, man, I'm going to come back for that Cosmog. Eevee? Eba. What do you What do you got to say? Do you like walking around together with your favorite Pokemon? Yes. Right, it's the best. Enjoy walking together all over the place. What? What? Why was that a thing? Oh, maybe because I can turn it off. Okay. Who would want to turn it off? Hello there, welcome. I've got some lovely goods for sale. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Lava cookie, tin of beans, big pearl, bread revive. I don't need any of this. You said uh, it wasn't the best. He kind of lied. When you're trudging through snow, you've got to really stamp down with your heels. Helps you from face planting and a snow drift. She's not wrong. Every year, the cold seems to bite harder. It's getting to be too much for these old bones. Well, don't make me sad and feel things. Welcome to Freezington. It must be quite a journey to get here. The Crown Tundra is famous for carrots, you know. Maybe you'd be interested in getting some carrot seeds as a souvenir. Sure. Ho oh, ho ho, quite the enthusiastic one, aren't you? Though I must admit, these seeds are rather valuable to us. How about a trade? You bring me eight pieces of dynite ore, and I'll give you these seeds. Ho oh, ho, life is all about quid pro go, or whatever the phrase was. Well, that's not it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to trade it in now. Why not? Now we can bury the ore in our fields and make our crops huge. Here are the seeds, as promised. I don't know what this is for. Uh, seeds to plant in a field. The kind of carrot you'll get is determined by which field you plant the seeds in. Don't go planting those seeds I gave you willy-nilly in the village's fields now. These fields are for our own crops. Um, okay. I was just checking to see if I could. I wasn't going to do it. Let's not get carried away with ourselves. How do I get in there? Do I just walk in this? Yes, I do. Utility umbrella. An item to be held by a Pokemon. This sturdy umbrella protects the holder from the effects of rain and harsh sunlight. Cool. The city is just out on the outside looking in. It's a statue of a Pokemon, but somehow it feels as if it's missing something. Uh, the giant fur on its head? Hello? I tried clicking that door like six times. Beldum. What's up? Be something, guys. Would it be wrong of me to predict that this Beldum belongs to Stephen Stone? We will find out. I think that was his last name. Now I'm second guessing myself. I wanted to sound cool. I don't know if that's his last name or not. I'm pretty sure it is. All right. What do you have planned for us, Dad? Poppy? 
Ahaha, ah, you're here. This pokey little place will be our lodgings. What the heck is that? But as of this moment, it's also something far more important. Our base camp. I know, I know. Not much of a base camp, is it? Still, we've got to give it a proper air of importance, haven't we? Now, enough faffing about, Dylan. Let me tell you what the Peony Exploration Team is after. Round here, they've got a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge headed Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. Not to mention a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokemon gather. And furthermore, these great Hulk and Dot Face giants that sleep in some ruins or something. Etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends, and we're not stopping until we found just how much truth they've got to them. And there you have it. We are the Peony Exploration Team. And that is our grand, noble, magnificent goal. Of course, if I had my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. <laughs> I'm just not good enough. But who knows? They say even chancy meetings can lead to blissful friendships. Stop. Dad. So here's a grand adventure. Expedition Chief Dylan. Yo, I'm a chief? Obviously. Look, what do you think would happen if the two of us went gallivanting off together? My dear Nia could come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it. My own darling daughter sitting alone in this poor room, pinning her, pinning for her papa. Gah. Nope, not on my watch. I'd never let that happen. So I'll be the hold down of the Fort Chief, which means you get the pleasure of being the Expedition Chief. Which brings me to this. Go on. Have it. Expedition uniform. Oh, I'm getting changed right in front of him. Awkward. Don't like that. Okay. Like father, like son. Look at that. Fits you like a glove. I brought some spare uniforms so my dear Nia would have a few to change... Into you gave me a woman's outfit. So there's enough to give you one. And if you ever need to change or have a kip, by all means, just head into the bedroom back here. I've got some different colored scarves in there, so switch it up if you fancy a bit of style. Here, have these too. Oh. Clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest. It's written by Peony, and an old photo is attached to it. There's a fairy tale in Freezington about the legendary Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. In the legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on its head, but the wooden statue near the fields in the middle of the village shows no sign of a crown. Legendary Clue 2. Far, far into the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of stone sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Let the Mon -e Chang one the door remains firmly shut. Sunken in the side of the snow, sli snow slide slope lies a temple where the giant of ice sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Wa, together, the evening stall of snow. The door remains firmly shut. Near where green meets snow and the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of steel sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Let out, note, wa, eel. The door remains firmly shut. On the distant paths of Three Point Pass lies a temple where two giants sleep. On the temple's door are strange words. Wet, re, door, all, beat, and it, the door remains firmly shut. And legendary clue number three. When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a great tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is there that the legendary wings come to roost. They're legendary clues I've meticulously compiled from hours of dedicated telewatching. <laughs> First off, why not have a look at the clue about the King's Bountiful Harvest? Seems like this King's bonds with its loyal steed, or whatever you call it, run proper deep. So if I had to name this expedition, I'd call it... The Sacred Bonds of so Sovereign and Steed? That was terrible font. They could have done anything but that. There's a great big statue and bang of it. What? There's a great big statue of it bang in the middle of the village. Though its head isn't as massive as in my notes. What is he doing? Uh, no. No, we're going to keep on. I said no. Oh, I know I did say yes. All set. 
Aha, I've just had an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. You're giving me more stuff. Excuse me? This is supposed to be one ultra mega corker of a ball. Use it wherever you think you ought to. I got it ages ago from somebody I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it, though. If you ever get a bit turned around, come back to base camp anytime. You can't miss it. Just look for the adventuring crew flag I stuck out front. Handmade by yours truly. Anyway, I suppose that's that. Let the grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. I gotta admit, man, I like this guy. Um, can I take this? I can stare at it. Hey, chief. My pillow's caught your... <laughs> your pillow... Oi, listen here, Chief. I've got some wisdom to impart. If you can put your head on it and have a kip, it's a pillow. I love this guy. Unfortunately, I went and left my favorite pillow back at home. So I went to have a look around town for something to rest my head on, and I found this out back behind the inn. Can I have it? C come off it! You want me to hand over my Ultra Mega Comfy pillow? That's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief. Um, hmm? What's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with a legendary Pokemon? Gah! Ultra Mega Seriously? This is just some old thing I found. But if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? Alright, alright, go on then, have it. But you better make sure to track that legend down. This guy's a character. You obtained a wooden crown. A mysterious object made of wood. Part of it seems to be chipped. Maybe it's meant to be part of something. Well, it is. I'm not going to activate that yet because I want to explore a little bit because that's something I've not done and we're right into another cutscene. Okay. <laughs> that is a beautiful tree. That is not. And here we are. Guys, I take two steps in every single... What is that? Footprints? I... You, could you not have just walked me over there in the cutscene? Yes. There they are. Sonia, what are you doing here? These are exactly what I was looking for. I knew my hypothesis was spot on. Hmm? Wait. Dylan? What are you doing in a place like this? Uh, no, what are you doing here? I keep asking myself that exact same question. If I'd known it was going to be this cold here, I would have thought things through a bit more. But here I am, stuck in the Crown Tundra, trying to learn more about a group of Pokemon. There are some Pokemon that prefer places where there are no people, you see. Pokemon that choose to live in isolation. The Crown Tundra here is just the place for that sort of Pokemon. And my, if my theory is correct... Then I think a certain trio of legendary Pokemon could be lurking somewhere in these lands. I'm sure my theory is not wrong. If you want some proof, then look there. See those footprints? Again, really? It's the... Oh my god. You found evidence of the Iron Will Pokemon. That's 2% of the data needed to track it. My theory is that the legendary Iron Will Pokemon, Cavern Pokemon, and Grassland Pokemon are all somewhere out here in the Crown Tundra. And there's evidence like this scattered all over the place that'll lead us to them. If we could find more evidence and collect 100% of the data needed to track these legendary Pokemon, then I bet we could use my Pokemon Finder to figure out what habitats they're living in. But this place is wicked cold, and it's putting me in hibernation mode. Are you planning to stick around here for a while, Dylan? Think you could try to spot more evidence like this and report it to me when you find it? I'll reward you for your hard work, of course. I'll be waiting in that house there, so I can stay warm and cozy and maybe feel my fingers. Or, so that I can grip a pen when I write, of course, since I'll be working so hard on my research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more cutscenes. Let me explore. Nidoran. That's kind of cute. Didn't expect that. So I at least want to catch one new Pokemon before we end this episode. Kind of see what we got going on. I've seen a lot of the same ones. I've seen Jinx, Audino, Obama Snow, Amara, Amora. I'm going to correct myself every time. Again with the Obama Snow. Double. Double. Let's see what this is. 
a, a, a probably a god tier Wulu at level 60. Sixty-two. We're gonna we're gonna run from it because it's far too intimidating for us to take on. And double Snorlax, kind of weird. Already. Oh, there's a uh, evidence. Found evidence of the Grassland Pokemon. That's two percent of the data needed to track it. Cool. If you play this game, oh, cool. Four percent of the data needed to track the Grassland Pokemon. If you play this game and don't pick up every shiny thing on the ground, I don't know how you do it. Six percent. We're just literally clicking every single pair of footprint. Oh man, I just ran smack into a doubles butt. Did it always have the horns? I don't even. I didn't know that. I didn't know it had the horn sticking out of the front piece of its fur. It's kind of cool. Eight percent of the data. Oh my goodness. I don't care about the EXP candies. I feel like these are just appearing because I've ridden right past this. Is it... Are they, like, procedurally generating? Maybe I'm wrong. I have a tendency to be wrong. I don't need to know what an antidote is. What is this? Okay. Nidoran. Giant's bed. I might miss some footsteps because I'm too focused on everything else around me, but that's okay. I'll find it eventually. What's that? Get this Pokeball over here. Max Potion. Stone Joiner. So nothing too crazy that I've seen yet. Really a fan of the fossil Pokemon just walking around. I like it because it is a technically, I'm not going to say extinct Pokemon, but I mean, it's a fossil for a reason, right? So I like that it's just up and at him with the crew. Frost Point Field. Again, not seeing a lot of variety in these Pokemon, so I'm not feeling that too much. I don't know if that expands later, if it's the time of day. This is literally like an hour or two into the release of this game, so far too early to, you know, judge. But just off the get-go, I'm not seeing a lot of variety, and that's a little concerning. Um, but that's okay. We'll find more. Cracked pot. I just killed an Nidoran. I mean, I'll catch it. I'm going to throw a quick ball. If it breaks out of the quick ball, my Pokemon career is over. That's right. Intimidate him, Decidueye. Ah, uh, quick ball. I have four left, so this is not good. That is a critical capture. Kerchink. Awesome. The landscape is beautiful, though. Like, I much prefer this to the Isle of Armor. Um, Isle of Armor was fine. But this is much more detailed. Cryogonal. Uh, can I get in there? Am I missing something? I thought for sure... Oh, man, my own Decidueye just startled me. Kind of like this little ruin area, and that Stone Joiner is walking around in it. All about that immersion. I am also a sucker for free Watts. Love me some Watts. Espeon, just up and at him, walking around. I would capture that, but I have my own Espeon that just so happens to be green. I chained for that. So I did chain uh, hatching for this Rowlet Decidueye behind me. Um, got it very recently. Went ahead and trained it up for the Crown Tundra. And I've had Mimikyu for a little bit, but I also uh, hatched that one. My Espeon, I hatched that one. I do a lot of hatching. And I'm gearing up towards streaming on Twitch. So if you guys want to see that, maybe do some shiny hatching, something like that, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. I'm all about some Pokemon. I'll play it as often as people want to see it played. But we do have some fantastic games coming out in Cyberpunk, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So I'm glad that this came out when it did so I can have my time with it before those two get here. Because I also have a brand new rig PC coming as well. Featuring a 3080. 
and uh, an i9 processor. So we're going to be running some powerful games. Powerful stuff. Um, I have a Sinistee. I don't know why I thought about that so hard. I am a, So if you've not watched my other Pokemon videos and you don't really know, this is your first time seeing, I am a ghost type trainer through and through. As you can tell from the two Pokemon that I started with on my team, being Decidueye and Mimikyu. I'm still looking for something neat to catch, but I'm also just exploring. Dragapult just floating around. That's kind of cool. Did not expect that. What was that? That sounded familiar. I keep... That's like the f second ice cream cone I've run into. Decidueye is getting tired of it, too. I And I don't want to catch it as is. I'd rather catch the, van uh, the Vanillite. Soothe Bell. Cool. So one of my biggest complaints for this game is the same thing that everyone complains about, and it's that all Pokemon are not in it. And primarily because my favorite ghost type, Pokemon, is not in this game. She's one of them. Love Frostlass, that's cool. But it's uh, Mischievous and Miss Maggie is. I have wanted... There's something written on the old pedestal. Well, yeah, that's why I'm here. November 30th, green florist once more around our village and rich soil began to spread. Vast lands lay open for farming once more. The village folk began to call the visitor a king in appreciation. Our village had long been plagued by a ruffian that ran rampant through the fields, devouring crops as it pleased. But the king, resplendent in its full power, suddenly spoke to us in our tongue, vowing to rein in the ruffian. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so Mischievous and Miss Magius, my two favorite ghost types, Really bummed out that they're not in the game. And I feel like a lot of people are that way with something that did not get included in the game. Like, I feel I feel for everyone who was waiting in anticipation to see what Pokemon were coming in the Crown Tundra DLC. And they were disappointed when it came out. And they still did not have what they longed for. I can empathize with that. And I wish that we were not in the situation that we were in. When, when in, you know, where that's the case. And I hope that gets rectified in future titles. I'm also curious to see where this game goes after the Crown Tundra is has been out and it's been released, which it is. Um, I don't know if we're going to get a second DLC pack. I don't know if we're going to get the next franchise, or not the next franchise, the next game in the franchise, whether it be a new Let's Go game, if it be the Sinnoh remakes, or if we're going straight into the next generation. I would certainly hope not. They need to kind of slow their roll a little bit. Didn't mean to do that. Just trying to run, guys. Come on. It wants to be petted. Is that what that just said? Decidueye. I can do that. We'll go camping after this. We're, we're working right now. We have a video to record. We're showing people the stuff. Little Queen. Hello. So there are some interesting Pokemon walking around. I'll say that. Like, I didn't expect Stonejourner and the Nidoking Queen and Nidoking. King... Dragapult. There are some that make super, super, like, big amounts of sense, and that's like Cryogonal and Amara. Amora? Damn it. I don't know. I don't know. Claydol, get out of here. You don't belong. Copperaja, that's pretty cool. Okay? Okay? What is happening? Okay. All right. Mi oh, hey. It's a Mimikyu. That's cool as well. No. It knows I'm a ghost-type trainer. It tried coming after me. What on earth was that nonsense? Where the 78 Copperaja just spawned in a tiny little grass field where only one should truly be? I don't even know. But you know what? With that just WTF moment, that's where we're going to end part three. So... Thank you guys for checking out the content. We have more on the way. The Crown Tundra is just starting. We're exploring. We're having fun. So until part four comes, enjoy my other content on my channel. It's a shield let's play, and I'm just doing my thing. But if you just want to watch the Crown Tundra content, then it sounds good, and I'll see you in part four coming soon.